Hi, this is Andy Cowan from JuiceFiend.com. In today's video, I just want to give a quick demonstration of the Breville Juice Fountain Elite. So the plan is just to take it apart, put it back together again, and then finish off by making a juice. So let's get into it. The first part we've got here is the jug that catches the juice. Then we've got the plunger at the top. This section here is the basket that catches all the pulp. And the juicer itself is pretty sturdy, and that's because we've got this locking section here. So to get that off, we just have to pull it forward, and then this part just pops off. Then the next thing we do is just turn this section either to the left or right, and it just pops off. And there's two bits here, with the filter basket, and this is like the main container. So everything, or every part of the juicer that touches the actual juice you're making, is made of stainless steel. So to put it back together is pretty straightforward. You just place that bit on, then we've got the filter basket, wait till it pops down and then push it into place, then put the lid on, pull the locking part up, stick the plunger back in, filter basket around the back, and then just put the jug in. And that's it. What some people do is use a bag in the container for the pulp. And that's pretty good if you want to like save on washing up. But that means every time you make a juice, essentially you're going to be chucking out some extra waste. So instead of doing that, I just leave it with nothing on. And then all the pulp that comes out, I stick it in the compost. So that, I mean, that does mean you then have to give this part a wash, but it's not exactly all that difficult. Okay, so let's just make a juice. I've got a couple of apples, three carrots, and some ginger. Now I've not cut up anything yet, so let's just see how long it takes to actually make a juice. So how about you just check out the time on the video just now, and take a minute or of that, and we'll just get started. So I'm just going to chop the tops off the carrots. I'm just going to leave the apples whole and thin slice of ginger. And this is really the beauty of this, um, or pretty much all Breville juicers. They have this massive three inch wide feed chute so we can stick in whole apples or stick in bunch of carrots at the same time. So it definitely does help to save quite a bit of time. Okay, so we've got two speed sections here. I'm going to go with high. It would help if I turn the power on. Okay, high power. So it's pretty noisy. And so I'm just sticking it into low. Okay, that's out of low power now. Not so noisy, and then up to high, it does get quite a bit noisier. too long to make that juice and that's really the beauty of like centrifugal machines like this they can make juices so quickly that's a bit weird actually some pulpy sort of liquid came out a little bit squish on the table a wee bit okay so that should be enough for a reasonable glass of juice what I quite like about this um jug here it's got this top section which has got like a pulp catcher on it. So we're getting most of the juice in the glass, but then the real frothy pulp, or it's not pulp, sorry, just the real frothy part of the juice stays in the jug itself. So those three carrots, a couple of apples and that bit of ginger, almost half pint of juice. Cheers.